Hey guys, welcome back to Super Mario Brothers 3 on the Nintendo Entertainment System here at Game Hole. We're in World 2, we're on our way to the castle and the airship, respectively. We've got a Hammer Brother, and we've got a card game, so we're gonna go there first. Card game. Oh no, picture lineup game. Alright. Come on. Yeah. Two up. 19 lives. I may need all of them later. Let's see. Oh yeah, I remember this one. There's a little secret right off the bat. Run over here. Start flying. Oh yeah. <laughs> I remember when I found that the first time, I was like, my crown jewel of secret finding in this game. I was so excited about that one. Especially because you like, break all those bricks as you're, as you're flying up. Like, that's so cool. And then you got all these coins. And then not only do you get all those coins, check this out. Fly, run. You fly! And you got more coins! Don't miss the first one. That's okay. And then, let's see. There's a trick to this one. Aha! There's the P block. Changes the coins into blocks and vice versa. Yeah, you could tell coins were, like, really important in this game. Because they, they, made, they made you work for them. Nowadays, you just get them. You get a hundred by breaking a block. Whoops. Forgot to jump. Uh, let's see. Do I want to mess with that at all? Nah. I'll just get those coins. One up! Oh! You made me miss my star! And for fun, I'm gonna go fight the Hammer Brother too. Cause I like playing the game. I have two warp whistles, but I ain't gonna use them. Because I'd rather play the game. It's no fun to warp to the end and just beat it. Hmm. I bet if you glitch the game out and got it to scroll vertically, there's some weird developer crap over there hidden weird pixels and stuff. Woo! Alright. Super Mario. Can't pick it up. That was kind of lucky, actually. I think this is the way. Pick them up. Bring them. No! Is there another one? Up there. Hmm. Did I, did I ruin it? I can get another one. Not a 
get him there before he wakes up. Oh. Oh, shit. Dang it. <laughs> it's hard to stomp them and then not kick them. Okay, hurry. Hurry. You shaking? What? Was it just barely off screen so it didn't work? Son of a... Ah! Okay, I can get one right here. Oh, that one's back. Okay. Yep, it was just barely off screen so it didn't work. There you are, my lovely. Hmm, how do I do this? I want to be able to get up there after I hit this. Can I hit this? Ah, shit. And I'm stuck? Okay. Screw it. Ninety schmeckens. I think that's what John Tron called them. Because they're not exactly seconds. Or are they? In the first Mario game, it was like... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. It was like way too fast. John Tron, I wonder what he's up to. I wish he would put out more videos. He's my hero. Okay, here we go for the next thingy castle and airship. Levels get so freaking hard later on. This one's not too bad so far. Designed ship you got here, Bowser Kid. Why did you design your pirate ship like this? And I always think there's like a secret chest or something over here, but I, I don't think there ever is. I check like every time. I'll keep checking, because if there is one there, I'm going to find it. Later. Get oh, I failed. It hit the ground. <laughs> I way overreacted to that. <laughs>
Oh, thank heavens! It's King Mustache Twirling Guy. Hooray! You can stomp on your enemies using Goomba's shoe. Oh, I love Goomba's shoe. I haven't closed the jewel. Uh, the jewel is a cloud that lets you skip a level. Probably won't use it, unless I get stuck. For the sake of the, uh, the video, I will skip over a level that defeats me over and over and over and over and over and over again. So yeah, she talks about Goomba's shoe, which is an item, an infamous item you get in World 4, where Mario's in this giant shoe, and it's super fun, it's like the best item in the game. Like, everybody loves the Goomba shoe, but it's only in one level, and it's kind of hard to get. They should have put it in, like, way more levels, because it's really fun to use. I'll try to get it when we get to World 4. Secret right away, how about that? So World 3 is like Water World. Everybody loves water levels, right? Nah, the ones in Mario aren't too bad. They've never been... Well, Mario 1, they suck. I don't mind them in this one. Did I say Mario World? I meant Mario 1. The, the Water World suck. Mario World, they were pretty good. Come back. Something up here? No. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> can't touch me when I'm on the ground. What? Oh, I gotta go up. And then that guy had to hit me, just because I taunted him. Alright, 3-1, down. Is this the one with the fish that eats you? I hope not. Fuck. Give me a mushroom. Oh man. This is not good. I bet that was another star. If I had gotten it in time. Oh. These levels are a bitch. Let me out of here. Oops. Whiff. I wonder if it's this game that gave me my fear of fish. Because growing up, I've noticed I'm a little afraid of fish. Just the way they look, and I don't want them near me. I will eat them. I will eat salmon. And cod and whatever. But I don't want to touch them. I don't want them to swim by me. I don't like fish. Fishes, I should say. Mushroom... Star... One up. I'm horrible at that game. Let's go with the last one. 
frog suit! Alright. Now I can go swimming. Much easier. Nope, there's the fish that eats you. I don't like him. That is not fair. Put the mushroom down there. Even though I'm afraid of fish, strangely, I'm not afraid of sharks. I mean, I would be if I saw a shark, but like, as an idea, it doesn't scare me. And they're fish. And they're the scariest fish. So I don't I don't know what brains are weird. Come here. Oh, shit. How about? Whoa. No, wrong, wrong, wrong. That's an intense level. Gotta pause it for a minute. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's go do this fortress. I mean, like, look how cool those graphics are. Compare that to Super Mario Bros. 1. And how, like, kinda almost primitive it looked. The early Nintendo games. They've really learned how to squeeze all the juice out of this system by the end of it. Not that I'm saying like the early games are ugly or anything, it's it's just a pixel style. But you can tell they're getting a little more power out of the uh, system with these graphics. Wh which door do I go in? I don't remember this at all. I have no memory of this place. We'll go in the last one. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, you assholes. What a bunch of dicks. Come back! Ah, don't touch the fish! Now can I go up the pipes? Oh, I can. This has to be the... where the idea of the ghost house... ghost house... ghost houses came from. Using layout, you gotta solve like a puzzle to figure your way out. Because the ghost houses, <laughs> ghost houses didn't show up until Mario World, I believe, the next game. All right, wait, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. One there, two here, three. Four, five, six. Okay, let's go in door number seven. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven. What? Bullshit. Was that six? Did I count wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I went in that one. Let's go to eight. Go to nine. Shit. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's the last one. I'm gonna run out of time. Oh, so it was. It was six? Okay. I'm very confused by that. But we gotta kill Boom Boom real quick. Ah, he's the flying kind. Whoa! Shit. So first, I'll just go in one, and get the power up so we're here. Yeah, these don't make sense. Oh, maybe they're reversed. I wonder if they're reversed, like, like the wall in the background is, is the reverse side of the wall in the door hallway. That's probably what's going on there. Uh, maybe not, because there's doors on both sides there. What do you get when you cross a heli helicopter and a rhino? A helifino. Waka 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 waka. Okay, I'm powered up. Let's go back over here. And then it was the one right before the second, or the, the thwomp. This one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, go beep, boom, boom. This guy crapped his pants. Boom, boom. Oh! Tricky dicky. Alright. Line up the pictures. Go for a flower. Flower, mushroom body, star base, star base. Aww. We'll do four. I chose this one because it's on dry land. Because those fish were freaking me out. These cartoon, innocent, fictional fish. Oh! Look how scary he is. Alright, so I gotta slide down here. Oh. Hold down. Unverse? What's the deal? What the 
hell? See? If you let a fish touch you, they hurt you. I'm not crazy. Well, I heard a thing recently about how they did this. See how the, the little Goomba is keeping me from jumping all the way up? Apparently it was a, a trick of the of the software. Um, they couldn't figure out how to do it, like, how to change gravity in the game, or like it was too expensive for the processor or something. So, uh, to make Mario jump differently, with the little Goombas around him, they put an invisible block above his head that followed him around. And it was at that height, right there, all the time. And so when you have little Goombas on you, there's a little invisible block above your head, preventing you from jumping. So that's how they did that. And I just, like, saw that a couple days ago on some YouTube video. Uh, that's a pretty clever solution to that. At least I'm still gaining lives instead of losing them. Well, I am losing them, but I'm gaining more, I should say. Alright, dudes, that'll do it for this episode of Game Hole. Tune in next time, and we will continue beating World 3. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you then.